It is day three of the trip, day two of the tour. We're doing some really cool stuff today, including some hungar training, which is a style of kung fu that none of us are really proficient at. And then we're going to Yip Man's grave. So in that pink shirt is Grandmaster Keith Kernspect, who is Sigong Alex's Sifu. So he, that is some, if you're uh, <laughs> Heisenberg, <laughs> Grandmaster Heisenberg. <laughs> Have you watched the whole uh, Breaking Bad series? Oh, yes. Yes. You have to pay me for it. All right, never mind. That's Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. But if you're in the Wing Chun world, you know that that's a pretty big deal. Or at least in the our specific lineage of Wing Chun, you know it's a big deal. I'm a bit starstruck. got these mosquito patches. We're gonna scramble through some bushes. Oh yeah, what do you have? Orangutan, the year of the monkey. I got the uh, yield rhinoceros penguin combo. Yeah, chilly. Like 30? 30, yeah. Why does it say 30 suddenly? So apparently this is a Taoist temple. Right here they've got all the different zodiacs. I'll go find mine. At least if it were in English, it'd be cooler to be called the goat than the sheep. So Mikey, is this your zodiac? Um, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, Bruce Lee would come to this temple when he was younger. And there's a famous photo of Bruce Lee wearing a white tank top with white pants with his hands in front of him like this. It was actually taken right up top there. For whatever reason, he would come to your fun lane with his family. I think they had some kind of, maybe their ancestral temple might have been up here or something like that. So here they have more incense and paper that you can offer to your ancestors. And there's a vegetarian canteen. It's interesting because I usually associate that with Buddhism, but Buddhism and Taoism are very compatible and oftentimes the beliefs of those philosophies were mixed together as they developed in China. Alright, now we're ascending up these temple stairs. This is so cool. And of course you've got a modern skyscraper being built in the background there. I think these might be little charms that people write prayers on. I should have paid more attention in my college Asian philosophy class. Taoism as such is actually not based on any deity or god or anything like that. Mm. But you have uh, one sect of Taoism which follows the Tao Te Ching, which is very natural, but yin yang, that kind of stuff. And then you have a very religious uh, offshoot of it, which is this, which is this. Taoism, it's more so about finding your own natural way. You just gotta find your natural way and be yourself. That's the main thing about Taoism. Uh, that, is that, that's kind of the idea of like Wu Wei, like you're not trying to force, you're just going with the flow. And, yeah, go with the flow. Yeah. But don't mix that with being passive. No. It's like in Wing Chun, the difference between relaxed versus dead. You don't want to force anything, but you also don't want to be completely dead. Exactly, yeah. that balance, yeah.
keep seeing the symbol that looks like a black and white cookie. Is, it, is this like a New York temple or something? Yeah, probably. Okay. They look like buildings and projects in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Queens, that's what that says right there, Queensbridge. Queensbridge? Oh, on yeah. that building. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a Jeet Kune Do logo. I didn't realize it was for cookies. What we learned about Bruce Lee is that he really liked black and white cookies. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Make sense. I think when he listened to Michael Jackson's song, that's what started it all. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson embodied the yin and yang. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did. It was both of them all at the same time. <laughs> I think up next on the docket is visiting Yip Man's grave. Okay. There are some cool trees, kind of remind me of Sycamore or Beach. I love how smooth the trunk is. Some strange squiggly marks on the bark too. I wonder if that's normal. <laughs> Looked very weird. We are really walking into some jungle environment. This is super cool. There are some interesting animal sounds around us. Wow, there's like all this old sheet metal and stuff over here. There are some Sansevieria plants growing there, colloquially known as snake plants. seen some old grave sites over here. This reminds me a lot of when I went to Pujiang and we visited the family grave site. It was similar in the sense that it was kind of built into a hill and you had all these different layers of gravestones. So when Yip Man first formed an actual association for Wing Chun, he spelled it with a V, which was just a mistake because the word is actually pronounced Wing Chun, but uh, on that sign they also put a Y in the word grave instead of a V. Some mushrooms growing on this guy here. Chinese culture, there's a tradition of every year cleaning your ancestors' grave sites, and this isn't that particular holiday, but it's always good to come and clean up a grave site and stuff for someone that you respect or someone who's in your family. And that, of course, is the grave of Grandmaster Yip Man, Grandmaster of our Wing Chun style, who uh, moved to Hong Kong, where he met several of his students, including, of course, Bruce Lee, students like Lung Ting, which was then passed on to the people here. Grandmaster Keith Kernspect, Grandmaster Giuseppe Skembri and uh, my Sigong, Alex Richter. And somehow that beautiful lineage has distilled down to my Sifu Jose and myself. Although Yip Man is obviously, those who are fans of Bruce Lee, is obviously very important. But actually, if it were not for Lee Man, there wouldn't be Bruce Lee and everything else. And he, his grave is over there. So every time you come here, it's always a good idea to give a little shout out and pay some respect to Lee Man, who's just right over there. We'll see him on the way out. Thank you. Just, just so you guys can see Lee Man convinced Yip Man to teach when he moved to Hong Kong. And that's why without him, this, none of this would be here. And Bruce Lee would never have been the same Bruce Lee. About four years ago, the Wing Chun Athletic Association, Wing Chun Tai Boy, they actually created this whole thing because he had, he had something really small and it was actually breaking into the ground. And it was very disrespectful because literally without this gentleman here, there would be no Wing Chun as we know it. It's very fitting, you know, that they did this.
that was an incredible pilgrimage. I'm very, very glad that we were able to get that done. Pretty crazy. Sifu, any thoughts? All of them. <laughs> so now we are headed to eat in what I can only assume will be an air-conditioned dim sum spot. Very much looking forward to that. Some of us were reflecting on visiting Yip Man's grave site and you know this art has been passed down. It's a good reminder to just train hard and kind of appreciate the art, not take things for granted. So I think these towers are kind of the equivalent of like Section 8 housing. You can just see how efficiently and densely packed they are. See, it feels good. That food smells good too. Now it's all good. Go, go. Whoa. Private room. Yeah. Thank you. Let's bring it back this way so I can be a proper student. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Some sort of like furry squid. Got some black steamed buns that almost they look like river stones. What's that? Uh, Serengay 16 is the camera eats first. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. The camera eats first. <laughs> yes, 16. Oh, custard bun. Oh, custard bun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I Salt, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. That was incredibly delicious. I didn't want to film too much because I was sitting next to two grandmasters and to my Sigong and my Sifu and I don't want to be an obnoxious YouTuber during all of that. I've got the big cup noodles. A bunch of tasty looking pastries on these shelves in the 7-Eleven. These 7-Elevens are like the ones in Japan in the sense that they actually have some good stuff. Pretty tired and sweaty. Now we are going to do a two hour Hunga seminar with uh, the great legendary Mak Sifu, who we met on uh, the first full day here at Kung Fu Corner. Making our way to the Marshall Club where Hong Kong cinema expert Bay Logan hangs out, as well as legendary Mak Sifu. I like how this is just like in a warehouse. Yeah, that's dope. This is some blood sport stuff.
conversation with one of Michael's students who said to me, is this a non-profit? I said, well, not intentionally. <laughs> but it's kind of basically a Hong Kong martial cultural center, both promoting traditional Chinese martial arts and also martial culture, including all of the wonderful films which are part of our Hong Kong martial heritage. My father, the legendary Bay Logan, is running a hidden fortress here on the Kowloon end of Hong Kong. And within this fortress of Kung Fu solitude, we've got multitudes of different things. We've got comic books, Kung Fu books, Kung Fu related DVDs, and a lot of original memorabilia as well. Oh, that's this crazy. place is super amazing. There's an office back here. I don't know if I'm allowed in, but... And then there's another room back here. That's Bruce Lee and Nora Meow. And then Bruce and Chuck over on this poster. We've got posters of Prodigal Son and Warriors 2, which are classic kung fu movies, specifically about Wing Chun. Oh man, and then we've got some uh, other movie posters, The Mystery of Chess Boxing, which the Wu-Tang Clan named one of their songs after. Holy crap, these posters are pretty gigantic. This is a uh, cast of Stephen Chow's handprint, Kung Fu Hustle. If we fight for real, I kill him. <laughs> and I looked at him like, really Jean-Claude? He goes, yes, uh, Logan. He points at Ryan, get up, okay, you fight like Mike Tyson. Everyone's having their cereal, and there's him as Mike Tyson and John claude Van Damme having a fight in the middle of the breakfast meal. And he's like, okay, oh yeah, and you punched me like you are Mike Tyson. Okay, now I'm kicking him, see? And now I'm using my elbow. And like, yeah, it's not Mike Tyson, it's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on your summer vacation? And the guy said, I went to the beach. What did you do? Oh, I went kayaking. Ryan, what did you do? Oh, I fought John claude at breakfast today. <laughs> he was like the big man on the campus. When are you getting the face tattoo? <laughs> uh, tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this place is incredible. My name is Mark Chi Kong. I met Alice for a long time. Alice is a very popular guy. I love him. I love him. I I love him. I love him. I love But one of the things what people always says is that the practice of Kung Fu is very different from the use of Kung Fu. No, that is the sport, right? Mm -hmm. But when they use it in fighting, also small. China when you have company. I feel that way today. We had the good China come out because we had this wonderful company. Thank you.
pace. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me back. Exactly. Yeah, that was an incredible experience. <laughs> How you feel? Uh, I'm still lost for words. I don't. It's surreal. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what, what did they say? Gobsmacked? Is that a word? <laughs> That's how I feel. It was good. Time to do some more of this. It's mostly cleared out, but now we're going to do a little bit of training and see them back up. He's having us go through the form one by one on our own now that we've barely learned it and uh, no one else is allowed to follow along until they go. And the horse dance is brutal. So we had some of that extra training. It was uh, quite nerve-wracking, but also fun. But now we're gonna head out for some food. That was an incredible, incredible day. Well, All right, so this is Calvin, AKA Faith, Faith and Kyle. Good. Okay, Hope. These are Ryan's brothers, Bay Logan's other yep. sons. We're out in Hong Kong, bro. Faith and Hope right now, we're just chilling. Shout out to our friend Andrew. He's hitting 200K, bro. Subscribe, you feel me? 200K, Show some love, bro. Man. Thank you, thank we you. Got, our music is out, Spotify. So if you're a big fan of rap, big fan of hip hop, big fan of all types of genres that's regarding around music, be sure to check us out, man. Yo, yo, love from Hong Kong, man. Love, Represent bro. the A52, bro. For real, for real. Then this is their music playing right now. Playing right now. Old school days, you talk about old school days. Days, 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 days. Old school days, you talk about old school days. Days, days, days. Yeah. Old school days, you talk about old school days This the type of beat that make you move both ways It make you vibe, wait a minute, hold a picture them days <laughs> Yeah, nah, dude, you get like a decent sized meal here, man Like a fast food chain, but for Hong Kong, it's okay. Chinese Waiting for my mother to enjoy a big ass meal We kept it real in so many ways, we talking about old school days uh. oh, man. <laughs> So, Fu basically um, used to train at a ferry pit he started doing lessons for kind of like fifty dollars an hour. He started doing it for free. Nobody 50 really Hong Kong fifty Hong Kong dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody took him seriously until my dad brought him on board. We used to train under him in this shelter, and we just started doing home guard. It was very cool. Even the cops would walk by and go down. So seeing that was it was definitely it touched my heart. It was like damn. When I'm middle, middle, think about a riddle, put them back a puzzle. What word to change it? I need a hustle. I need a hustle. But listen, my words are mine. It's all of my girls who wanted a profit. Checking your attitude, just watch it. Ain't got no gratitude, just stop it. We got some fish fillet with uh, bitter melon. I used to hate bitter melon, but uh, I kind of like it now. And of course, the lemon tea. <laughs> That's good. Sorry if you don't like it. No, I like it. Oh, you do? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> that fish is delicious. Well, that bitter melon is actually not that bitter either. There's a little bit of bitterness, but it tastes delicious. Especially with all the sauce. We've got some fermented black beans. Sweet and sour chicken. Oh man, it's so different. I don't know what it is, but it like has like a Chinese essence to it that is very different from the American stuff. It like tastes the way like a Chinese market smells, but in a good way, not a bad way. <laughs>
Ryan's brothers were talking about meeting Bruce Lee's brother, Robert. Robert said that one time he was making music and he had his own like song. Bruce Lee was the only one that was so excited to show everybody, look guys, my brother made this. My brother made this. He never told this story to anybody else. Because I was curious as well. I wouldn't know him as a person. Not what the media describes him. I wouldn't know you. Not you know, you I just wanted to know what was it like having him as your brother? What was he like as a person? When he opened that up, that, that definitely made me feel some type of way. Yeah, like Super said, good guys, man. Super. So down to earth. And like when I when I feel him asking me how I am, it's really coming from the heart. Alright, dinner is done. And some people are going out partying, but I think I'm gonna call it a night. Alright, I'm being convinced to uh, party with these jackals. Uh, I'd love to know, because you're, you're not gonna let me just rest in my hotel? No, absolutely not. First of all, what kind of man are you? Secondly, <laughs> what kind of man are you? This mall is closing as we walk through it. We were trying to go out the other entrance, but uh, it's locked with some chains. <laughs> they don't have a sophisticated locking system. We were so innocent, I miss it. Yeah, those are days we're missing. People grew so distant. So many questions that never been answered. Funding my demons, I needed to pass the Many children are watching this. Don't succumb to your friend's peer pressure. This is just part of the kung fu training. Throw that bullshit train to trash. Damn. We talk about old school days, so keep it rolling. This gon' catch your vibe, please, so oh God, just keep it going. Faith and hope be on it. Yeah, we keep it honest. Sorry for the stalling. Right, we are in Lam Kai Wing, which is a bar district. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and uh, it's very, it's much more modern. Like big modern sky rises, making bad decisions. These streets suddenly started looking way more interesting, way more lively. All right, we have made it. Hey, Gara, don't shoot this. I think we're trying to figure out if we can accommodate the larger group now. The dude was like, you guys are huge. I don't know if you'll fit in this room. I'm getting the Van Damme lemon cider. <laughs> Come by. Cheers. Come by. <laughs> Van Damme beer. That's actually really good. It's like a Mike's hard, <laughs> except better. Ever since I met City Week 2. That's it. Why? Alex! 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 I'm a gagger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gagger. <laughs> and with that, I think this vlog Lane is number done. Three. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs>Hey, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out some more Hong Kong vlogs right here. Once again, thank you so much.